All right guys, so I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time, and that's a video about our whole backup process. Because we get a lot of questions about, hey, how do you back up your films? Do you have multiple hard drives? How do you archive them? And all these things like that. And so this video is gonna be really cool because it's gonna be more of a workshop. I'm really gonna get into the nitty gritty on how we do our whole backup process, and I know that it's gonna be really helpful for you guys. So the first thing is, why is backing up so important? Well, it is so vitally important because you have, you're filming this couple's wedding day and it only happens once. There's no redos and it would be absolutely devastating if you lost the couple's footage. I mean, even right now, my heart is like sinking. That just, that's every wedding filmmaker's nightmare. So it is pivotal if you're running a wedding filmmaking business or even doing your very first wedding film that you have a process to where your films are backed up and also that this process is automated because you don't want to rely on remembering to back up certain things because you will forget life happens and it just gets messy and you want to have this whole process automated so we'll be talking about that and so that's really what we're going to get into during this film i know it's going to be helpful for you guys so let's go so first i'm going to start off with the four steps of our backup process and then i'll get into the nitty gritty on each of the steps and really walk you guys through each one so the first step is we have a main editing drive. Then the second step is we have a clone of that main editing drive. Then the third step is we have that main editing drive clone backed up in the cloud. So if anything happens in the studio, we still have the footage in the cloud. And then last step, the fourth step, is when projects are completed, we have archive drives where we put all our finished projects on those archive drives. All right, so those are the four steps. Now let's get into really the in-depth detail of each one. So let's talk about the main editing drive. What is its purpose? So this main editing drive is where all your active current projects will live. And key thing about this main editing drive is it needs to be blazing fast. This should be your fastest drive because it's the one where you're going to be doing all your editing from. And all hard drives aren't created equal. And this is, uh, you know, oftentimes a problem I talk about with filmmakers is they just choose the cheapest drive on Amazon. But the problem is it really just bottlenecks your whole editing process because it's slow and you're trying to, you know, scrub through your timeline and it's glitching and thumbnails aren't coming up and that's partly due or mainly due to the speed of your hard drive and so you really want to make sure it's fast it's where all your current projects live and also in the description below I put a link to my favorite drives for my main editing drive for my clone drive for archive drives for everything so you'll find that below so next let's dig into what a clone drive is so your clone drive is literally an exact copy of your main editing drive so say if your main editing drive is five terabytes your clone drive will be five terabytes and it will have the exact same files that are on your main editing drive so say if your main editing drive has you know a file labeled one two three the clone drive will have that exact file labeled one two three and the purpose the purpose of this is if your main editing drive crashes, you always have an immediate backup on your desk that you can just grab and bam, have the files. You don't have to wait to download anything. You don't got to run somewhere else to get a clone of your drive. This drive will be with you on your desktop. It'll always be there. Now the thing is, you know, like I talked about the main editing drive that has to be super fast. Your clone drive doesn't have to be as fast as the main editing drive because the only purpose of that clone drive is to have a copy of what's on your main editing drive. You're not gonna be editing from the clone drive, so it doesn't have to be as fast. And just like in the main editing drive, where I said I put links in the description on my favorite main editing drives, I did the same for the clone editing drive. So you'll be able to find those below. Now you may be thinking, well, okay, so at the beginning of the video, I know you said this whole process has to be automatic. How do you make that clone editing drive automatically copy what's on the main editing drive? Like, do you drag it on every night or like with every project and that's a great question because when I first started kind of this whole process that's what I would do I would kind of do it manually and I would just forget so what I use is a program called carbon copy cloner it's an amazing program it's only like 30 bucks or it might even be cheaper now but I'll put a link in the description below but what it does what this program does is you install it on your computer and 
you link up two drives. So you would link up your main editing drive and your clone drive within the software. And so say if you deleted a file on the main editing drive, it would delete the file on the clone drive. It literally makes sure that those drives are identical. But if you add a file on the main editing drive, it'll add that file on the clone drive. So it just makes sure that, like I said, you have mere copies and it does it all in the background. So be sure once you get your main editing drive, then you get your clone drive, get that carbon copy cloner and use it to link those drives up. All right, so now moving on to the third step of the process, getting more in depth and detailed. And this is having a cloud backup of your clone drive. Now this is oftentimes the part where many filmmakers just don't go that extra step. They're like, okay, I have a main editing drive, I have a clone drive, I'm good. I mean, I have a copy of all my files, I'm fine. Well, uh, not really, because imagine if there's an earthquake and your whole studio just gets crumbled. Or what if your main editing drive catches on fire and it's right by the clone drive, then your clone drive catches on fire and then your whole house catches on fire. I know it's intense, but if all your copies are in the same place, in a disaster, you're yeah, it's not good. You could lose everything. So that's why the third step of this process is having a cloud backup of your clone editing drive. And the software that we use for this is called Backblaze. It is life changing. It's only $5 a month. I mean, five bucks a month for peace of mind to have cloud backup. Amazing. And what's so cool about this is it runs in the background. You install it onto your computer and all the time, 24 seven, it is backing up every single file that is on your clone editing drive. And there's unlimited backups. It doesn't have, for $5 a month, if your clone editing drive is 10 terabytes, it'll back up 10 terabytes into the cloud. And what's amazing is if your whole studio burned to the ground, you can log into Backblaze, put in your username and password, and download all your footage from the internet, from a totally separate computer, or they'll even ship you a hard drive with everything that you've backed up in the cloud straight to you so you can start editing your project again. So this is a pivotal part in the whole backup process and you really want to make sure that you do not skip this third step and have a cloud backup solution like Backblaze. So the last step in the process is archive drives. I mean, what are they? What are their purpose? Now these are really, really key because that's where all your finished projects live. So once your projects are done on your main editing drive, once you finish them, you've delivered them, where do you put them? You put them on archive drives. Now these hard drives do not have to be fast at all because they're just, you know, when your projects are done, you dump them on these archive drives and you put them in the closet. So you're never gonna be editing from them and that's why you can just go for really high capacity and low cost. So I'll put my favorite archive drives again in the description below so you can take a look at them. And you know, we've been doing this for a long time, so we have a lot of archive drives. But then you, you may be thinking, well, why the project's already delivered, why should I have archive drives? Like, isn't that just space that's being taken up in my house? Now, yes, I mean, you could think that way, but you don't really wanna think that way because it's really important that you just have backups of everything you've ever done. Because what happens when you know a wedding couple, they contact you five years later, we've had this happen, where they're like, oh man, like we lost our wedding film or our footage, like can you send it to us again? And because we've had these archive drives, we've been able to do that. And they have been so grateful, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't think you'd still have our footage but we did. Or, you know, if say a company contacts you and they see one of your films on YouTube and they're like, hey, you know, we really love the footage. We want to license the stock footage of that one film you shot, but we're gonna need the original clips because we don't want your color corrected versions and we're gonna pay you $5,000 for your stock footage. And you're like, ah, oh, I deleted all that footage because it was a project I did 10 years ago. And they're gonna be like, oh man, well, we can't use it anymore. But if you had those archive drives, you'd be able to be like, oh yeah, here you go, Dropbox it over to them, and then you'd have a solid job. And so archive drives are super important. You may think you don't need to do it, but 
trust me, we've been doing this for a long time and they are the last key of the puzzle of backing up your weddings and just making sure that your butt is covered and you have everything taken care of. So that is our full process on how we back up, how we edit our films, and this whole process is really optimized for a team with one editor. Now if you're a team with multiple editors working in the same location, for your main editing drive, you're gonna want something a little bit different. You're gonna want, instead of just a standard hard drive, you're gonna want something called a NAS hard drive. It's a network attached storage hard drive. Now what this hard drive does, what's really, really special about this hard drive, is it allows the multiple editors that you're working with who are in the same location to all edit from one drive. Now the reason this is so amazing is you could have, you know, you could be working on say a wedding that you shot this weekend and then another editor could be working from that same drive on a wedding you shot the weekend before and it all be on one central location. Now again, I would not recommend starting with a NAS if you just have a team of one person, even a team of two people, you don't really need it, but if you have three or four editors working for you, go for the NAS because it'll allow you to really work together as a team. But I'll also put some links to my favorite NAS hard drives that if you want to kind of make that leap to something a little more advanced and you have a bigger team, it, go for the NAS. But they are a little bit expensive and then your clone drive in you know, the four step backup process will need to be a lot bigger because NAS drives tend to be like 10, 20 terabytes. And it's personally what we use, but we have a bigger team. So I hope this video Video is extremely helpful for you. I know it is really revolutionized our business just having a complete process for you know when a film comes in to when we finish it and having a whole backup system in place so please I urge you guys like put the system in place it will really really benefit you you're not going to fully just grab the weight of how important this is until something bad happens where you lose someone's footage or anything like that and you just don't want to wait till that point get this whole backup system in place so that you don't even have to worry about ever losing anything all right guys well if you have any questions about this process leave them in the comments below i will be down there helping you guys so be sure to tell me what you loved about this video or if you had any questions and lastly i just finished up a really really helpful ebook that you're 100 percent going to want to get your hands on if you shoot weddings and this is an ebook on nine of our proven steps to shoot stress free, cinematic, and story driven wedding films. And you can grab it off the link right here or in the link below. It's gonna be with all the descriptions of all hard drives. You're definitely gonna to wanna to grab it. It'll massively help you. It's just a really easily digestible ebook that you can look through even if you have a wedding tomorrow that will massively help you just knock it out of the park. So grab a hold of that ebook and also implement this whole hard drive strategy. And that wraps it up for today's video. I know this is really helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys soon.